Here at CHESS 2015, Thomas Baldrick along with one of our PAH TV favorites, Dr. Richard Chanick from Massachusetts General Hospital. Thank you, sir, for stopping by. My pleasure. So you have a poster on uh, Selexpac. What can you tell us about that? So the, the poster really describes in a little more detail some very interesting findings from the so-called Griffin trial, which was a long-term trial with oral Selexipag. Just for the viewer, Selexipag is a prostacycline receptor agonist. So it stimulates one of the prostacycline receptors. It's not a true prostacycline, but is a, appears to be very active in that receptor, and so may have many of the effects of prostacyclines. The Griffin study was a long-term study that has been previously presented that showed really pretty dramatic efficacy at preventing um, a morbidity or mortality event um, compared to placebo. So patients who were got Selexapag in escalating doses were benefited. As part of that study, we looked at the dose that patients achieved, and that's what we're kind of presenting in this poster. So what we find is that when you dose this drug up, there are side effects that occur, and we call them prostacycline side effects. Now, these effects are dose related. So the protocol called for us to increase the dose until the patient developed side effects, and that was kind of their maintenance dose for the most part. When we look at that uh, and where patients ended up on in terms of dosing, we found that um, very interestingly, uh, regardless of what dose the patients ended up on, there seemed to be equivalent efficacy. In other words, if the patient could tolerate only a lower dose, and when these were predefined dose groups, they did as well. There was as big of an effect as if the patient, for the patients who got up to the highest dose. So in a sense, what we call the individualized maintenance dose approach gave efficacy. And what that really means very significantly is that when this drug presumably gets used, it'll be very important to follow that dosing regimen that the study supported. What would be the appropriate dosage? So it really depends. Mm -hmm. Every patient's going to be different. It's one of the things we've really noticed with prostacyclines and these type of drugs is that each patient may require a different dose. And if we use the regimen of increasing the dose based on side effects, then the, the study would suggest that that patient will reach their optimal dose to get a benefit from the drug. Who are the patients who would most benefit from this? So Selexapag in the trial, in the Griffin trial, were patients who had really group one pulmonary arterial hypertension. That could be idiopathic, that could be um, heritable, it could be drug-induced, and patients with connective tissue disease, and even patients, some patients with congenital heart disease. The, um, the benefit to the drug was seen really in all of those dose groups. It was a very consistent benefit for these patients. And very importantly, in the Griffin trial, which has been presented, many of the patients, 80%, were on other therapies in addition. So this drug appeared to provide an added benefit even in patients on background therapies. Um, and, and the dose reached, again, which is shown in our current poster, was independent of the background therapy, the type of pulmonary arterial hypertension they had. In all of those patients, they, some of them reached a low dose, some medium, and some high. What might you do next in following up on this poster? I think that it's really going to be important um, if the drug gets approved mm -hmm. and gets um, based in the marketplace to really collect data on how this drug is being dosed in, in real life, in clinical practice. I think that that's really where we're going to tell a lot more. I think we, in the prospective studies, in the Griffin study, we've sort of analyzed those data in great detail, but the, the, the real world is, I think, where we're going to really and, and I think most importantly, how we communicate the way to dose this drug is going to be very, very critical. Sounds like good news for patients. Thanks for sharing your work. My pleasure. Thank you. Always ours. Thanks.